Sarah Molnar here, your NCCPT personal trainer and Team Beach Body coach. I promised you my zucchini boat recipe, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. So, first off, of course, you need your zucchini. Now, I'm making two batches of this, so this is just one um, batch, but this is probably about two zucchinis. You can see that I've carved out the zucchini, and all I did was throw it on a cutting board, chop it up, and put it in this mixture here. So, this can be a vegetarian meal. Um, but I add ground chicken because I have six mouths to feed and they like their meat. So in this pan right now is just the zucchini that I've chopped up really small from all the insides of that. A little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You always want it to say first cold press on olive oil. And I'll show you this one. So you'll see it right here. First cold press. All that means is the first press of the olive is the purest. It has the most antioxidants in it. It's the best for you. So you always want it to say that. Um, that's why you'll see some extra virgin olive oils that aren't first cold pressed and they're way cheaper. There's a reason for that because they press the oil, press or press the olive so many times. It could be like the 20th time they've pressed the olive and that's the oil you're getting. So you really want to look for first cold press. So olive oil's in here, maybe about a tablespoon, just enough to coat the pan a little bit. The zucchini gives off a lot of moisture, so you don't need too much, just to get things moving. There is about a half of a white onion, chopped up very small because my kids don't like onion, um, and also about two cloves of garlic. So in here is the zucchini. We crushed up some um, of the ground chicken, got it really small, and some onions and some garlic. So that's there. On the side, I did some quinoa. Quinoa is actually um, a complete protein. It's something that is so fantastic. I know they have it in grocery stores. It, this is how it's spelled. I know people don't know this. It's quinoa. It's quinoa. So that's um, a whole grain, tons of protein alone. Six grams of protein just in a quarter cup that's dry. So that means, obviously, it expands, so you get a lot of protein in this. So this is a little bit of the quinoa. So all I'm going to do is pop that in. But this makes a lot, which I love because then I have it during the week. And then I chopped up some tomatoes, quartered them out, probably about half, half of the container full. The other half I can always use for salads. Use a can of cannellini beans. Make sure you rinse them because they do add salt and sugar sometimes to them. So make sure they're rinsed. Pop those in. You can see this filling is already a ton. Half a cup of Parmesan. Now this is the Parmesan I use. I always use fresh Parmesan, not the one in the container. Um, because the one in the container actually has chemicals to keep it from caking. Same thing with bagged cheese. Bagged cheese is something you don't want to buy. All that, you know, you see them all lined up. Buy a block of cheddar and shred it yourself. It tastes so much better. You don't need as much cheese because there's more flavor. That bag cheese adds more things to it, sometimes cellulose, which is something you don't want. It's a wood fiber, but it's an anti-caking agent too. So buy a block of cheese, shred it yourself, or you can buy some that's freshly shredded. So this one doesn't have anything else in it but Parmesan. So pop that in there. And then a can of diced tomatoes. This one says fire roasted again, doesn't have to be, again, you know, whatever you can find, just gives it a little bit of a sauce. You do need a half a cup of almonds chopped up, but this is one of my tidbits. I don't know if I talked about this before, but every probably two weeks, I take a bag of walnuts, I take a bag of almonds, and I put it in the food processor, sometimes with seeds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, um, process it up and put it in a container. This is something I use like in um, yogurts for some healthy fat and protein. Every single day my kids get this in their oatmeal. My husband I know puts it in his. Um, but it's just something easy. Get it done. Keep it in the fridge. So it called for about a half a cup of almonds chopped up. So this is a combination of almonds and walnuts. All I'm doing is just probably putting in three tablespoons of it. Again, this isn't, you know, you don't have to measure out everything. It's not an exact science. So. You just have to mix this up, and it smells so good because everything is so fresh in it. And you can see this makes a ton. You don't like tomatoes? Don't add tomatoes. You know, if you're not a big bean person, don't add the beans. 
If you're not, if you are a vegetarian, you can see how this could be a huge vegetarian meal. Just don't add the ground chicken. So you just want to incorporate it all up. The nuts I like like this because then you're not getting a big old crunch in it. And oh, I dropped. I'm like the chef in the Muppets, right, babe? Mm. I'm the sloppy chef. The Swedish chef. I am the Swedish chef. I am the sweetest. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so um, again, I have another pan, so you can see all I'm doing is just covering this up. Make sure you nuke microwave the zucchini. Add a little bit of water at the bottom. That's all I did because then your your time while the zucchini is nuking in the microwave, this is something that you can prepare while it's doing that. Because I know sometimes people pop it in the oven, but sometimes the zucchini just does not get soft enough. So. You can see you pop that right on. I'm not filling these. I'm not filling boats. I'm just popping it right on. Because let's be honest, when you cut it and put it all together, that's how it looks. So, pop that on there. I actually could use a little bit more in the corner. Let's see what happens here. Boom! Holla! I didn't spill anything yet. Babe, aren't you proud? Nice job. Thanks. He so doesn't want to talk right now. Okay, so then a little bit of more of the olive oil just kind of gives it like that golden hue. So this is a tablespoon right here. Again, it's not a lot. A little bit more of the fresh Parmesan. Again, there's a half a cup in the whole recipe, and Parmesan is not a fatty cheese at all. And again, this has so much flavor in it. And yeah, this says a tablespoon is 20 calories. So that's, that is definitely. So you're just kind of just putting a little bit on the top of it. I have a double batch because I have six mouths to feed, and also it's great. It is fantastic as leftovers. So that's something that you could just throw in a container and take it to work. Take advantage. Cover it up. Pop it in for about 20 minutes. Again, make sure that you nuke that zucchini. Um, put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan. In fact, babe, I have the microwave right here. I'll show them. So this is my other batch. Is it hot? So it is. Uh, I just put a little bit of water and then it's just, you nuke it for like 10 minutes and just fork tender to your liking. So you cover it, 400 degrees, about 10 minutes. You just want it to all get nice and hot and gooey and get the cheese to melt. I always pull the um, aluminum foil off after about like four or five minutes. Um, that way it just gets nice and golden brown and you have a complete meal and you're done. So, if you like this recipe, please like, please comment that you've shared the page. You have a chance to win a $25 gift card to Target and also a Shakeology shaker cap and a Shakeology sample. My daughter is getting into the raisins right now. Uh, so, I'm going to let you go. Have a happy and healthy day. Take care.